Hello everyone, welcome to our next video, our second video. Uh, this is still lesson number one. Um, from the first video, we discussed about the, the first or the outermost layer or the thinnest, yung pinakamanipis na layer ng Earth, which is the crust. And you learned that there are two types of crust, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. We also discussed the differences between the continental crust and the oceanic crust. For this video, we're going to be talking about the lithosphere. Uh, this layer of the because the crust, the mantle, your the, the core, they are um, they are uh, the layers of the earth based on the composition. Kung saan gawa. So kung ganito gawa, sa ganito gawa yung layer na to, it will be a crust. Kung ganito sa ganito gawa yung layer na to, mantle yon. Kung sa ganito gawa yung layer na to, that is the, that will be the core. But here, lithosphere is another layer of the earth which is made up of the crust and the uppermost mantle. No? So, dalawa yan. Here, lithosphere. You can see here, lithosphere. I'm just going to change the color of my pen to dark red. So, lithosphere is made, of, made up of the crust, both oceanic and continental, depende kung nasaan ka, and the uppermost mantle. So, remember that uh, we have the layers of the earth is our crust, and then we have the upper mantle and the lower mantle. And then we have the two cores, no? in the lower core, the outer and the inner core. So the lithosphere is made up of the crust and the upper mantle, the uppermost part of the upper man mantle. So based on here, based on this definition, lithosphere is the rigid, this is a rigid, hindi siya ganun ka flexible, matigas siya. Solid outermost part of the earth, including the crust and the upper ma 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 mantle. So, sir, meron na po tayong crust. Bakit po kailangan pa natin magkaroon ng ganitong layer ng lithosphere? Because this layer is what is moving. All right? So, this layer is what is moving. And they are called the tectonic plates. So, the lithosphere is the layer of the earth, the outermost layer of the earth that is continuously moving. Lagi siyang gumagalaw. And the whole earth is like a, a uh, yung, yung egg, no? Um, boiled egg, hard boiled egg, na kapag nagkaroon ng crack, yung shell niya, ganun ang itsura niya. As you can see on this GIF. No? So, bawat isang, isang hati, like for example, this one, no? that is a plate. And that is a lithosphere. Kung titignan niya from, from, uh, from this view, ito po yung itsura ng lithosphere. This one. Okay? This one is the lithosphere. The crust and the up, uppermost mantle. No? But on the top view, ganito po yung itsura ng mga lithosphere plates natin. They are called the tectonic plates or simply plates. So we have different plates here. Here are the major plates. You have the Pacific plate here, the North America plate, uh, the South America plate. So usually the name depends on the continent or the place kung saan makikita yung plate na yan. So for example, North America plate is uh, ang nasa ibabaw niya ay North America. No? Yung continent ng North America. South American plate na sa ibabaw niya is the South America. So we also have the African plate, the Eurasian plate, where we are found, the Australian plate, and the Antarctic plate. And we have also minor plates, which we will not be talking about in this video. So those are the different plates. And remember, they are moving. The arrows show their movements. Okay, so those arrows show their movements. So for example, this Pacific plate is moving westward. All right? So the Australian plate is moving uh, northeastward. All right? So you are probably very familiar with the movements of these plates because they are the ones that are causing different phenomena or different phenomena such as earthquakes. So earthquakes are, are caused by these plates, these moving plates. So kaya may lindol dahil gumagalaw kasi itong mga plates na to. Okay? The question now is why do these plates move? Bakit nga ba gumagalaw itong mga plates na to? So... Um, as we go back here on this um, image, kung titignan nyo sa ilalim, the lithosphere 
this layer is actually on top of another layer, which is the asthenosphere. Now, lithosphere is the strong layer. Asthenosphere is the weak layer. So, sir, ano naman po yung asthenosphere na yan? Asthenosphere is found just beneath or sa ilalim ng lithosphere. And this layer allows the lithosphere to move because this layer, the asthenosphere, is a plastic or a flexible layer. So, yung lithosphere, kanina, ang sabi natin, lithosphere is rigid. Matigas siya. No? Um, hindi siya basta-basta nababalik. That's the sphere. While the asthenosphere is flexible, para siyang nagpo-flow siya. Hindi siya water, hindi siya liquid, hindi siya magma. Gawa pa rin siya sa solid rocks, but flexible siya. Umagalaw siya. It's plastic. Para siyang plastic, nagpo-flow siya. But it's not liquid. So the reason why the lithosphere is moving is because nakapatong siya sa asthenosphere na gumagalaw. So yung asthenosphere na yan, gumagalaw yan. And because lithosphere is stronger, has greater strength than asthenosphere. So imagine this. Imagine that you have a boat which is floating on the water. The boat here is the lithosphere. That is hard, that is rigid, that is uh, great, mas matindi yung strength niya kumpara dito sa flexible na water, which is, which represents the asthenosphere. So kapag dahil nakalutang or nakapatong lang yung lithosphere dito sa, sa asthenosphere or dahil nakapatong lang tong matigas na boat na to dito sa water na to kapag gumalaw yung water, gagalaw din po yung lithosphere. And that's the reason, or yung boat, and that's the reason why the lithosphere is moving. It's because the lithosphere has greater strength than the asthenosphere and the asthenosphere is the flexible layer that allows the lithosphere to move. 